Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the Pizel Slab 2.0. It's the updated version of the original slab. I guess you can call it the Slab 1.0. And uh, I think we're going to start this review out just by unveiling what this board actually is. The, when Pizel first released the original slab, from then up until now, I was actually confused of what that board was, because if it's called a slab, you immediately think, oh, well, it's for slabbing waves. Like, it's a, it's a board for heavy barreling inside out waves, but actually what slab is meant uh, to be an adjective for is a slab of foam, like a flatter slab of foam. So uh, this board is specifically de designed for smaller waves. Uh, and again, we have to take everything with a grain of salt because Pizel is based out of Hawaii. So what he may call a smaller wave may actually be a great day for, for where you live. This board specifically is John John's Pro model uh, for on the, on the world tour for those smaller, weaker days. Uh, he recently used it uh, at Snapper and got a, over a nine point ride uh, in really marginal conditions. The board is meant to work really well in gutless waves and to generate a lot of, a lot of power underneath your feet and a lot of speed and a lot of lift uh, and just the ability to create a lot of speed with a wave that doesn't have that much push. Um, it is a performance shortboard, so obviously it's going to be coming into a pointy nose, and it does have some good foil to the rails. Um, the, another question that comes up is like, well, how is this board different than a Pizalian? And the Pizalian is meant to cover uh, literally the widest range that you can with a pointed nose shortboard, where this board is really more geared towards specifically that smaller half of the wave range. So if you look at Pizel's website, it says the, the Pizalian, you could use it from one to eight foot, where this board is one to six feet. So looking at the shape of this board, uh, compared to the original Pizel 1.0, it has a little bit wider nose and a little bit wider tail than the original board. Also, John put in a deeper single concave through the first two thirds of the board than the original uh, slab, and then a deeper double concave out the back with a wider tail block, meaning the tail block right here these two points a little bit, little bit wider apart. All of those things are gonna generate more lift underfoot and more speed down the line uh, and the ability to generate more speed when the conditions are soft. The other thing is, uh, is lowering that nose rocker. Uh, this board definitely has a flatter nose rocker than the Pizalian. The Pizalian, I would say, is more of like a moderate nose rocker where this is more of a flat nose rocker. Uh, the two boards, the Pizalian and the Slab, have uh, about the same tail rocker, but this board's flatter in the nose rocker. Again, showing you that this board's meant for more marginal conditions, for getting into the wave with a little bit more speed, and for the ability to glide across flat sections without that extra nose rocker plowing. Uh, another difference between this board and the Pizalian, again, because I think it's two boards that people look at a lot, is the Pizalian has is a little bit narrower at the max width. It has a flatter deck and a fuller rail, where this board is a little bit wider at the max width, and it has a little bit, it is a fairly flat deck, but not as flat as the Pisalian, and it definitely has a more foiled rail to it. It's thinner on the rail. So that number, that thickness dimension that you see is gonna be kind of more accurate to what you're feeling in your hand. Uh, like where the Pisalian, you look at that number and then you feel it in your hand, it actually feels considerably thicker than what the number that's written on the board. This board's got more foil, uh, and it's, if you think about the surfer that's looking at this board, they're gonna be a, a better surfer, they're gonna want the best small wave board that they can get, but they're not gonna want the board to feel clunky. So they're not gonna want like a super thick rail, they're gonna wanna have a performance rail on the board, and feeling this board feels, it's, it's fuller than you know your full on like high performance short board, but it's definitely thinner than, a, uh, than like a hybrid or a Pizalian. So going over the, the features on this board again, I mean, the main thing on this is just flat entry rocker, moderate tail kick coming out the back, uh, deeper concave than the, original, than the original slab, and then a, a wider kick, a wider tail block going out the back of the board. As far as performance on this board, uh, we've been surfing this in Cape Hatteras for about a month now, and the not this specific board, but the boards we've been using. And the performance on the board is, is right in line with, with where we thought it would be, uh, meaning that we've surfed this board in shoulder, maybe some head high sets, like pretty heavy beach break, 
all the way down to uh, about knee high and, and mush. And it's worked everywhere in the middle, you know, in, the, in between those two ranges. Uh, you know, obviously any shortboard is going to work when it's like chest to shoulder high. But where this board connected the dots better was when it got into that soft waist high, having that flatter forward rocker on the board and then the deeper concave really allowed the board to glide and generate more speed than if you had a normal shortboard. And then also having that wider tail and that wider tail block um, and then a little bit of extra width throughout the entire board is going to give you more lift as well. So again, the name of the board, it's the Pizel JJF Slab 2.0 and uh, geared towards small, you know, Pizel would say it's geared towards small waves, but in reality, it's geared towards small to anybody's, what anybody would call medium waves. Great rangy shortboard, not quite as rangy as the Pizalian, but more dialed in for the highest level of performance in that, in that small to small medium wave range. If you have any other questions on this board, you can give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000, or you can check it out online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks again for tuning in.